Hey guys, it's Zach with Zach's Muscle Motors and today I'm going to show you how to replace valve seals. Okay, On um, the internet I haven't seen any videos pertaining to this, so at least not to this particular application. I've seen some variations of it, but nothing for these ribbon um, top valve guides. So um, what I'm going to do, step over here. Uh, the first thing, these are dark iron eagle heads. Okay, These have uh, the factory, if you call it factory, uh, valve guides that have a ribbon top. Now these take the Teflon valve seals. Um, basically what you want to do when you're looking for your valve seals, you either call the manufacturer or if you have them changed out, what you'll need to do is um, take a micrometer and you'll want to get the, uh, the size of the width of the valve guide on top and you also want to take your stem on your valve and get your measurement on that as well. Um, because those are the two measurements that you're going to need in order to find out what exact valve seal you're going to need. Okay. Now, first thing you want to do is get the old ones off. Now, that's pretty easy on most of them. These here have like a little uh, metal clip. You can just kind of pop these off, knock my stuff over here. And then once you've got it off, just pry the old one off. It's not usually that hard. You can get your pair of pliers, whichever is easier. Pop the old one off. Okay. Now it's junk. You don't want to use those again so you get new ones. So like I said, once you have your measurements, you can go to Summit or Jegs or whatever and get the ones you need. And then what I do, I take the locust oil, uh, oil here and I'll put just a little bit on the inside of this because you don't want to gold them going in. Coat the whole edge of it. Stick it right down on top of the valve seal. And then what I like to do also, because I'm using an install tool, I'll take this little spring it's like a little collapse spring on top that puts a little bit of tension on the top of the valve seal. And I got a comp cams uh, valve steel installer here. I just get it straightened up on the, the valve guide. And you can actually push these in in most cases. Kind of fumbling around here, we'll get it. Just go straight on. You can press them down. Just go straight on it. Just give it a little tap. And you'll know when it's seated. It doesn't take much. That's pretty much it. And then you take your little round spring here and you roll it right back over the top of that. That's as simple as it is right there. Now the importance of your valve seals is they're actually going to control the amount of lubrication that goes on the valve seat or the, uh, the valve stem and it's going to keep access oil from going into the, uh, the cylinder and flooding the cylinder with oil. So not only does it help keep the valve stem lubricated, but it also keeps access oil out of the cylinder. Okay? So that's pretty much it on this type of uh, setup anyway. So I hope this video helps. Like I said, I kind of looked around YouTube. I didn't find any that was, these are for a small block Chevy. This is for the, um, the bad company Camaro we're doing right now. Uh, this is my personal Camaro. And um, like I said, with these valves, I did some research. Didn't see any video on it. So this is it. Dart Iron Eagle Head uh, Valve Seal Installer, Reinstaller, Replacement, whatever you want to call it. So there it is. I hope that helps. It's a little quick video from me. You guys have a great day. Remember, go to my Facebook page, Zach's Muscle Motors, and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You guys take it easy. I'm out.